Hello everybody, this is Android Gamer, and I'm back with another top 10 games. Um, so this one we're going to do is Quest Android, my channel, playing Android games, of course I do a top 10 of this. Um, there are other consoles I could do, or other game systems I could have done. I could have done Nintendo, I could have done PlayStation, I could have done Xbox. But this whole playlist I wanted to do with consoles or systems that I have owned within the course of my life so i didn't never had uh nintendo so yes there are games i played with that but i never owned it there's no really way i could do a proper list for that i did own uh playstation back in the day but i did not play enough games in it to do a proper list for that i never owned an xbox even though i played halo i played some of the other games that are on xbox but either way so this is the last in this series. I hope you enjoyed it. So we'll go through as the top 10 games on the Android console or Android platform. So either games I've played in this, on this game or on this channel or just stuff I played in the past. Uh, so number 10 is Little, Very Little Nightmares. Uh, I enjoyed playing this on the channel, uh, even though yes, I didn't complete it because something messed up with it. I'm not sure what happened, but it was still good game <clears throat> that spin off from the original games that are on I believe it's PlayStation might be Xbox as well but it was just a good horror trope where you're running through this puzzles and at the same time there's always something around the corner that's going to get you um, <clears throat> so it was very good gameplay very good graphics story I figured it was a continuation of the original one, or it might just uh, be a side venture of a uh, 7 or a 6. Uh, so, yeah. Number 9. <clears throat> Number 9 was Sky Children of the Light. I played this. It was from some of the developers that created Journey. So, if you played through Journey, you almost. <laughs> It was almost a regurgitation of Journey for Sky, um, but it was very good gameplay, very good story, and graphics, and sound, and ambiance that just dove into it, just dove in the, the sky. Um, <clears throat> I did play as much as I could on this channel, and I, I think I, played, I finished it, but I think there was like maybe a few... Missions at the end that I didn't get to, but still was a good game. And I really enjoyed playing it. Number eight, Call of Duty Mobile. You know, I only played a couple of the. I only had a couple of episodes of it. I still enjoy it. I go back to it every once in a while. And the Call of Duty, uh. I guess almost the genre on its own because it started out as World War One or two. Or it was World War Two, and then you played it through, and it did go back into World War One. But it's good gun down blazing. This was it only just had team online stuff. It didn't have any single player stuff, but it's still a good series altogether, and it was a very enjoyable game. And enjoy playing it when I go back to it every once in a while. Somehow really good, I don't know why, but number seven is Hearthstone, <clears throat> which was is in a world of Warcraft where you have characters and heroes from Warcraft that you play through and it's a sort of it's a card game style game like Magic or Yu-Gi-Oh or any of the other card games or and Pokemon which my kids are starting to enjoy. Where you build a deck and you go up against other players, or really just one other player, and you try to see who's the be who has a better deck and who has a better luck and what cards they drew out. Uh, it was a very enjoyable game. I started. I stopped playing for. I stopped playing for a little bit just because of the fact it took too much of time and so many other games I wanted to play. But it was, it's still a good game. I highly recommend playing if you want to play a card based game and want to get into the world of, or the universe of Warcraft it's, it would definitely be a useful game to start out and it's both on Android and iOS number six number six is uh, Assassin's Creed Identity the mobile 
addition to the Assassin's Creed saga. Um, you know, it's follow along Assassin's Creed 2, but it was still its own thing where you were not the titular assassin from that from the saga. You were your own one. It was a very enjoyable game and enjoyed it. Um, they had DLC where you actually played with Enzio and, and did a mission with him. And it played like Assassin's Creed. You did. You jumped around. You there's lore behind it. There's uh, stories of the Templars and the Assassins Guild and all that stuff. Um, wasn't as robust as any of the other games because there was no real story with it. I mean, it had a story, but it wasn't a continuous story. It didn't have like cinematics and all that. So, other than that, I still enjoyed playing through it. Number five. Number five is Murderous Pursuit. I enjoyed this game when it came out in beta. I enjoyed it when it came out, when it finally came, was fully released. And sad that the developers could not push it any further. I know it was originally a console game in the Xbox, but with it, <clears throat> it was a sort of battle royale, but it was... Interesting because you're on a ship and you're murdering people with different weapons and different ways to do it, and whoever had the most points in the end won. Uh, I enjoyed playing through. I almost was asked to do tutorials for the game, um, and I said yes. Yeah, sadly, unfortunately, the developer didn't have enough interest, or didn't have enough people interested, or just a server or just cost too much money to keep the servers up. And in the end, they had the it had it ended, which is kind of sad that a lot of games on mobile like that, that a lot of people just move on or there's no longer an interest and there's no point in keeping it on the server anymore. So, or in the Play Store. Number four is Clash of Clans, which I have come back to start playing it again. Um, yeah, it's a fun little game where you're building a... a colony and you're fighting other members and you're also can as the name says you join clans and build a, an alliance or build an alliance of uh, players and you have they fight other clans and they have now clan leagues and it's become a whole thing and a, a whole excuse me a whole esports um Umbrella within its own, and it's a really enjoyable game. Number three, Typo Man. I would put this in because I played this in the series. I mean, yes, it was originally made for the mobile. It was ported over from the console, but I enjoyed playing th through this when I was playing on my channel. It was an enjoyable story. It was gut-wrenching and it had ups and downs and it got thrown left and right um but yeah it's a good story good sound and gameplay and audio and just had a good story behind it and i really enjoyed it number two number two is black border i was following this immensely when I found out that it was coming out because I wanted to have Papers, Please come out on Android. And the developer of Papers, Papers, Please decided to stop when they moved it to iOS. And so when I saw Blackboard it came out, I was following it. I was reaching out to developers like, hey, I'd like to play this game on it. And I did. And it was one of the first people that was playing it when it came out and I was helping developers walking through and playing, telling them all the bugs that were happening and <clears throat> enjoying it. I watched the whole playthrough of my channel and I came back to it uh, last week because I know well, I've been playing it on and off when I come back to it just to see if I can play the story again or if there's anything different. And last week I noticed that they had an entirely different story from the original story that came out. It was all around the virus, or the COVID virus, but they had their own little virus within it. So it's a very good story. And it's different from Papers, Please, because the story I felt was a little bit better in Papers in Blackboard than it was in Papers, Please. Um, and it was, wasn't as rough. Uh, not that... Papers, Please story was rough. It was just different and 
the, the fact that your superior is a little bit nicer to you, that you weren't just a number to them, that they actually cared about you and realized that you got the short end of a stick by being in a booth. But either way. And the number one game I put in for Android in this playthrough, in playing game so far, was Harry Potter Hogwarts Mysteries. I enjoy playing this game. I'm still playing through I'm them. I'm on early in year six, so I'm still, I'm almost done, but still I have a long way to go. Uh, but within this, it's all within the universe of Harry Potter, but it's in the years before Harry is comes to Hogwarts. So it's when Harry's just a little baby, and they mention Harry at the start, where um, Dumbledore says that Harry's safe, he's uh, okay, but he, a lot of stuff has happened, and... Now I have to go through, but you're playing your own character, playing your own seven years, and have your own story. You have friends you have along the way. You're trying to learn all your spells. You they added the whole thing where you play cribbage, and you um, and there's a dual um, dual fights and all this stuff, and you have different events that you have to play through the outside of the your regular class that pulls your time away, but it's a very enjoyable game. I've enjoyed playing through it, and I'm happy and yet sad that to see it end, but still. But either way, that is my top ten list. I know there's a lot of games, same as the PC, that could have been put onto here, and a lot of games out there that maybe other people would like to enjoy. And if there are any that you feel I should play on this channel, please certainly comment in the uh, comments below what games you've played that you enjoyed. Either way, I hope you enjoyed my whole play, uh, my whole um, list of games of or game consoles I've played over the years. And I said there's so many games, so many consoles I could put into this, but I just did not. Ha I would not have the time where I'd be at this forever. It'd be a separate channel all on its own. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this whole thing. If you watched all four of them, and hope you have a happy new year and a Merry Christmas. It's Android Gamer, Layer Days, and have a gaming.